welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss the construction of regular hexagon. Now we know that a hexagon has six sides and in a regular hexagon all the sides are equal and all the angles are also equal. So for a regular hexagon The angle at the center will be 360 degrees upon the number of sides of the regular hexagon which is 6 and this would be equal to 60 degrees. So if you look at this regular hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F then each of these angles is of measure 60 degrees and as you can see we have 6 triangles formed in this regular hexagon and each of these triangles would be equilateral triangle. So we have 6 equilateral triangles. And also, the area of the regular hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F would be equal to sum of the areas of the six equilateral triangles or you can say six into the area of the equilateral triangle say triangle AOB and we know that area of an equilateral triangle in this case say triangle AOB would be given by root 3 by 4 into side square and we can take the side as AB for this so AB square so 6 into root 3 by 4 AB square is the area of the regular hexagon ABCDEF now we find that in case of a regular hexagon, all the triangles included in this hexagon are equilateral triangle and there are six equilateral triangles here. So this means we have a property which says that each side of the regular hexagon will be equal to the radius of the circle so let us now try to construct a regular hexagon of side 4 centimeters so we have to construct so this regular hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F in which we are given the line A, B of measure 4 centimeters. So we have line A, B is equal to 4 centimeters and we have to construct the regular hexagon on this line A, B. This is the given line A, B of measure 4 centimeters. Now as we have that each side of the regular hexagon will be equal to the radius of the circle. So in this, our first step of construction would be with A and B as centers and AB equal to 4 centimeters. As the radius, draw arcs, cutting each other at the point O. So 
we have drawn these two arcs taking A and B as the centers and radius equal to AB which is of 4 centimeters and let this point of intersection of the two arcs be point O. Now in the next step we have with O as the center and same radius that is 4 centimeters we draw arcs cutting previous arcs in points C and F. So now taking O as the center and radius same as AB we have drawn these two arcs cutting the previous arcs at the points C and F. Now in the next step we have with C and F as centers and 4 centimeters as the radius, we draw arcs cutting the arc CF in points T and E. So we have drawn these two arcs taking C and F as the centers and radius equal to 4 centimeters such that these two arcs intersect the arc CF at the points B and E. Now next, we join BC, CD, DE, EF and FA. On joining these, we get AB, CD, EF. The regular hexagon of side 4 cm. So, AB, CD, EF is the required regular hexagon of side 4 cm. Now, next, we have a property which says that the length of the side of a regular hexagon is equal to the radius of the circumcircle Let us see how we can construct the regular hexagon of side 4 cm. As we have the length of the side of the regular hexagon is 4 cm and we know that the length of the side of a regular hexagon is equal to the radius of the circumcircle. So, in our first step, we draw a circle of radius 4 centimeters. So we have drawn this circle with center O of radius 4 centimeters. Now in the next step, we mark a point, say a point A, on the circumference of the circle. So let this be point A on the circumference of the circle. Then in the next step, put A as the center. We draw two arcs of radius 4 centimeters as 
the length of the side of the hexagon is 4 cm such that these two arcs cut the circle lengths of the circle at points B and F. So these are the two arcs that we draw taking A as the center and radius equal to 4 cm such that these two arcs intersect the circumference of the circle at the points B and at this point P, F. Then in the next step with B and F as the centers and 4 centimeters as the radius we draw two arcs cutting the circumference at points C and E. So these are the two arcs drawn taking B and F as the centers and radius equal to 4 centimeters such that they cut the circumference of the circle at the points C and E. Now if you consider this rough figure of the regular hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F, then we find that we have located all the points except the point D. Now as in the regular hexagon all the sides are equal, so this point D would be equidistant from the points C and E. So in the next step to locate the point D we take either C or E as the center. So with C or E as the center and 4 centimeters as the radius we draw an arc to cut the circumference at point D. So we have drawn this arc taking E as the center and radius equal to 4 centimeters such that this arc intersects the circle at point D. Now next, we join AB, BC, CD, DE, EF and FA. So we have joined the sides and we get this regular hexagon AB, CD, EF in which each side is equal to 4 centimeters. So, A, B, C, D, E, F is the required regular hexagon. So using this property which says that the length of the side of a regular hexagon is equal to the radius of the circumcircle, we have drawn a regular hexagon of side 4 centimeters the next property that we use in the construction of a regular hexagon is each interior angle of a regular hexagon is of measure 120 degrees and its opposite sides are parallel. So using this property we will construct a regular hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F 
in which each side is of measure 4 cm. Now as we have that each interior angle of the radial hexagon is of measure 120 degrees. So this means angle A and angle B each would be of measure 120 degrees and its opposite sides would be parallel to each other. So to start with the construction, first of all we draw a line segment AB of measure 4 centimeters. So this is the line segment AB of measure 4 centimeters. Now as the interior angles are of measure 120 degrees, that is this angle A and angle B of measure 120 degrees. So in the next step at the points A and B draw rays AX and BY respectively such that angle BAX is of measure 120 degrees and angle ABY is of measure 120 degrees. So we have drawn this ray AX at point A such that angle BAX is of measure 120 degrees. This is the ray BY drawn at point B such that angle ABY is of measure 120 degrees. Now as this is a regular hexagon that we have to construct, so each side would be of measure 4 centimeters. So this means this AF would also be of measure 4 centimeters and BC would also be of measure 4 centimeters. CD also of 4 centimeters, DE of 4 centimeters and EF also of 4 centimeters. Now to locate the point F with a as center and 4 centimeters as the radius, we draw an arc cutting the ray AX at the point F. So we have drawn this arc taking A as the center and radius equal to 4 centimeters such that it intersects the ray AX at the point F. Now again, to locate the point C with B as the center and 4 centimeters as the radius, We draw an arc cutting the ray BY at point C. So this is the arc that we draw taking B as the center and radius 4 centimeters and this arc intersects the ray BY at the point C. Now as we know that the opposite sides of the regular hexagon are parallel, so this means that AF would be parallel to CD, this EF would be parallel to BC and AB would be parallel to DE. So in the next step, we draw CZ parallel to AF and ST parallel to BC. So we have drawn CZ parallel to AF, ST parallel to BC. Now we need to locate the points D and E. So now we have with C as the center and 4 centimeters as the radius 
we draw an arc cutting the ray C Z at the point D. So this is the point D which we have located by taking C as the center and radius 4 centimeters. Now we locate the point E. So for this with S as the center and 4 centimeters as the radius we draw an arc cutting the ray ST at point E. So this is the point E that we have located taking F as the center and 4 centimeters as the radius. Next we join the points D and E. So on joining the points D and E we get a regular hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F with each side equal to 4 centimeters. 